All right, welcome to the Yo Yo Show. I come down here this evening. I got a mess of a truck. You hear me? I'm talking about a mess of a truck. Oh man, trailer trash at its finest. <laughs> oh, anyway, got me a new seat here. Uh, just stopped by Evergreen Ag in Madison, picked this up. Uh, just, I'm just gonna go in here and sit on the ground and look around. Uh, I'm gonna spray down good. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something about this. I was joking the other day. Uh, about using this for something. I can't remember what I was using, but that deception sense. Let me tell you what it did the other day. Uh, Y'all saw what I got proposed, right? Y'all saw what I proposed for my girl and everything. Y'all saw that shirt I had on. Not even sure if I had that shirt on. It might have been backwards because it was kind of tight on my throat. But any which way, I had wore that the night before to Wade's Catfish House over there, uh, west of Matheson. And it smelled like, you know how you go in a catfish house, smell like grease? That's what it smelled like. I sprayed that on there before I went and got engaged and the grease smell was gone. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, we make that in a berry smell. Uh, that same truck coming down the road. I don't know why I always feel weird when I see trucks come down the road when I'm in the spot. Like, I don't know, I don't know I'm hunting here. I don't know. Maybe it's that the old outlaw in me. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's what the lady said at Evergreen Ash. She's like, getting you a turkey seat? I was like, yeah, I just need me something to run and gun. I was like, in case the landowner shows up, I can just dash off in the woods. But anyway, anyway, we're just going out here to uh, deer hunt. Just going to get on the road. We're just going to sit down like old school. Except I'm going to have a nice seat. And then, uh, any which way? Let's get it started up in here. Let's get it started. <laughs> oh, anyway. Boots, I stepped in dog poop. So, I couldn't handle the smell. <laughs> Easy now. All right, so we're set up. <clears throat> this little old road is just a road that comes down through here uh, between the hardwoods and the pines. And we're just basically hoping that one will cross back and forth. I may not be able to get the shot for say on camera it's a little far from my phone but uh hopefully we can get a i don't know if i want to shoot a big old doe if i want to shoot a little old buck <laughs> wait big old buck or a little old doe? i don't know either which way uh we're just gonna keep looking down here and uh see how it goes you can kind of see you can see behind me is hardwood sun setting over there the wind is out of the south southeast which is hitting me right here so, hopefully we get it. If not, we in God's creation. Just feels good. Just feels good to be out here. If you're able to get out, get out. A lot of times we spend a lot of time on social media. And uh, it brings hate in our heart, depending on how we react to things that's said and done on social media. Sometimes it brings good. I try to bring the good. But if you can kind of shut down from all that for just a little bit, an hour or two. Something like this. In which way? We'll just keep looking, see how it goes.
chance at that doe. And uh, I just hadn't completely convinced myself I want to shoot a doe today. I really want to just scout this place out and, you know, see what's here. If there's a buck out there or what. But that doe had some younger ones on me. And they was trying to act like they wanted to nurse. But she would literally just rear up and knock them off. So she got within about 70 yards. And I zoomed in on her with my, uh, with the, with the scope on nine power. And she was facing away from me. Didn't like she was showing no milk. She had that tail up, but didn't like she was showing no milk. So, and those pig, I mean, not those pigs, those deer were brown. So, we always say if they ain't got, uh, if they ain't got spots on, they'll live. But, uh, and if we shoot the doe, it's any question, we'll just go down there and put some of that milk replacer on the ground like I used to give them cows. <laughs> Still here, just hanging in the woods. Well, just got back out on the road, hit a gravel road. As you can see, I seen a little bit, a few things, but uh, no bucks. And anyway, I just really wasn't really, wasn't really worried about knocking down a doe today. But at least I saw some. At least I know, you know, if I want to kill a doe or shoot at a doe or bring my boy or uh, uh, something. I mean, at least you know. Oh, potential shooting something, but any which way, we headed in. It's Wednesday night, the night before Thanksgiving, so y'all have a Thanksgiving, a uh, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, my girl's going out with the girls tonight for a little bit. Uh, I say going out, they're going out to dinner, not out, out. But anyway, they're gonna go eat because one of her friends are in town. They're gonna go eat for an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Or so, and then uh, I guess I'll go hit up the Traceway or something. And give me a little grease in my stomach. But any which way, enough rambling. Y'all saw every day, and I appreciate everybody that follows and cares on what we got going on. For the ones that can't get out and hunt, I hope to just you see a little bit of uh, hunting adventure through me, even though we didn't uh, take anything this evening. It's just about being in the outdoors and trying to get in a release, uh, a relief of life. So any which way, if you can get outdoors, if you can't, uh, keep praying and watch our show. And we keep, we keep doing stuff. You can enjoy stuff through us. That makes sense in any which way. Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, y'all can tell I'm a little sore. <laughs> Got a sore throat and a cold coming. <laughs>